Okay. Do you know? I'm Dr. Belbert. I don't think we've ever met before. Nice to meet you. Why don't you come in and uh, take a seat? We'll get started here. Okay. Let it out. Oompa Loompa, Minnie Me, Dr. Shrimpenstein, Frodo. I've heard them all. Tell you what, here's a list. You think of something new, I'll give you 10 bucks. That's okay. <laughs> you know what? <clears throat> I really want to thank you. I spent all morning with geeks complaining about the science fair. A jock with aggression issues is a welcome change. Oh, well, I had to come. Principal Schaefer said it was either this or suspension, so... Yeah. Well, <clears throat> I just want to tell you that everything that happens in here stays in here. A lot like Vegas. So, you punched someone, huh? What's the deal with that? You should have done it in the game. You would have just gotten a penalty. Well, you said something about my mother. Well, someone says something about your mother, you respond in turn with something about their mother. High school, it's been happening that way for generations. But today, you punched someone. Why? So, uh, you just had an uh, address change? Your parents move? Uh, my dad moved out, and I moved in with them. It's no big deal. No big deal? Come on, your parents broke up. It's a pretty big deal. Half the kids in the school's parents split up. I mean, do they have to talk about it? Well, half the kids don't punch someone. So, uh, you moved in with your dad? That's unusual. Is there a problem with your mom? You know, I just take that suspension. Hey, hey, it's okay. All right, but um, you know what? Since nothing's wrong, why don't you just uh, spend the week in here, miss class? Not interested. Well, you know what? I'll tell you something that'll interest you. If you don't come in tomorrow, I'm gonna have to suspend you from the hockey team for the rest of the season. You can't do that. Yeah, actually, Dino, I can. I have amazing power in these hands. <laughs> Fine, whatever. You can make me sit here, but you can't make me talk. Well, I get paid either way. What are you listening to? Interpol. Ah, can't get into those guys. They're such a Joy Division ripoff. Who? Joy Division. Here. They're depressing, you'll like them. These guys are pretty decent. What? These guys are not bad. What? I was saying these what? guys are... <laughs> Funny. Uh, it's an oldie but a goodie, huh? <laughs> Talk to him. Tell him you can't get it up. Tell him about Jackie. Just tell him what's going on with you. Oh. So I downloaded some pretty cool stuff. Have you ever heard of Snow Patrol? Uh, no. Hey, Dino, listen, we can, we can listen to some music today. Cool. But uh, first, I think we need to just talk a little bit. Look, I, I told you, I don't need to talk. I'm fine. Here's what I see. I see a kid who punched a guy, and guess what? I was just in the teacher's lounge, and I know who your father punched. And I think I know why. Look, you have been really cool, and I like being here, but I don't have a problem. You see, I can't really go into it, but something happened this morning that hasn't happened in a while, and now I know everything's gonna be okay. Going to be okay? So you admit things aren't okay. Uh, see, now you're, you're twisting my words around. It's Come a nice on. try, but hey, a couple more days and we're done. I mean, I, I shouldn't have hit the kid. I was wrong. You see? You cured me. Hey, Dino. Everything okay? I think maybe I do have a problem. When I tried with Zoe again, the same thing happened. And with Greta and Sabrina, 
it didn't happen because, well, we didn't get that far, but I think it might have. Man, what's the matter with me? Am I some kind of freak? No, of course not. There's a billion dollar industry for erectile dysfunction. It happens all the time, and not just to old guys. You've been carrying around so much pressure on yourself. Come on, Dino, I'm surprised it hasn't jumped off and run away. <laughs> <laughs> Give yourself a break, huh? I mean, we keep all these emotions bottled up inside, and it's like your penis is saying, hold on a second, slow down. We've got some serious feelings to deal with here. I don't know. Just wish you'd shut up already. <laughs> <laughs> well. I think you're gonna be all right. Dealing with it is half the battle. So what's the other half? Well, that's what we're gonna find out. I don't know, I mean, I guess I just feel, like, responsible. I mean, if I hadn't seen my mom and Coach Scott together, then I wouldn't have acted all weird, and then my dad would have never found out. Can I give you my professional opinion here? Sure. You're crazy, dude. Why don't you just take responsibility for the situation in Iraq, too? Come on, if I hadn't quit hockey, my dad wouldn't have gone to the coach. Yeah, and if my aunt had testicles, she'd be my uncle, too. Come on, your mom knew what she did. You, that has nothing to do with you. And I think your dad's not that innocent for letting the marriage get to that state anyway. He didn't deserve that. Deserve is a strong word. Sometimes we let the people we love slip away because we get so focused in on our own problems. What is it? It's like me and Jackie. I mean, I could have told her what was going on that night, but I didn't. Why not? I don't know. It's embarrassed. I didn't want anybody else to know. I mean, I don't even know how to deal with it myself. And how did you feel when your mom admitted this to you? Pissed. Really pissed. And then she told me that I couldn't tell my dad. She told you that? Yeah, she said that if I told him, it would kill him. And how'd that make you feel? More pissed. But. It's like I couldn't, I couldn't show it, you know? It's like all of a sudden I had to be responsible, like it was up to me to keep them together. By not telling your dad? Yeah. You told your father by quitting the hockey team, do you but know? But I couldn't look at the coach anymore. Don't give me that. Your mom told you not to tell your father. I couldn't take it anymore. You were responsible for keeping them together. You didn't hold up your end of the bargain. Your mom... How the hell was I supposed to do that? It's not my marriage. I don't know how to fix it. I'm not the one that cheated. It's not my fault that... you've been saying it's not my fault no it's what you've been wanting to say how's it feel <laughs> pretty damn good there's something i need to bring up okay uh it's a rule in this school district that when we talk to a student we need to check in with their parents too what do you mean, check out? Well, you know, we need to let them know that what they did, in your case, punching a kid, is uh, being taken care of, and that their adorable son or daughter is learning the error of their ways. Oh. But you know, if it, you know, makes you uncomfortable for me to talk to your mom, you know, I'll turn the other way. Ignore school policy. You will? Yeah, I will. So, should I? Can I? No. No? No. Okay. Sure. <laughs> ah, gotcha. Uh. So, how's, uh, how's Dino doing? He's coming along, considering everything he's been through for the past two months. Yeah, I know it's been rough on him. <clears throat> I just have to ask you. What in the hell were you thinking when you tried to have Dino help hide your affair with Dave Scott? Wow, nice to meet you, too. I'm not much for small talk. Okay. Uh, well, I have been in therapy for almost two months, and we're still just working on my childhood. I'm not interested in your childhood. I'm interested in your child. I'm not comfortable with this. <clears throat> you still haven't answered my question. Why is that? Because I came here to talk about Dino, and I really don't appreciate being blindsided. Well, then, maybe you feel about 1% of what he felt when he saw you with the coach. 
You just get right to it, don't you? I thought that therapists weren't supposed to judge. I'm not much for hand-holding. I'm interested in getting answers that help my kids. Well, uh, I wish that I had some. I don't have any. All I know is that I have lost my best friend. I've lost my husband. And now I'm losing my son. And it's all because I just didn't have the guts to say that I'm not happy. Hmm. Well, that sure sounds like an answer to me. It's not going to be good enough for Dino. So you know, this is our last official session together. You're going to have to go back to study hall next week. Man, that sucks. I know it does. People become attached to me because of my brilliance and my charm. <laughs> But seriously, if you ever need to talk, you can always come by before or after school. Yeah, I probably will. So, about my mom, did she say anything about me? Well, I can't tell you specifically. But what I can tell you is that before I met with her, I think I was judging her pretty harshly. And after I met with her, maybe I was wrong. What do you mean? Well... She's upset. She's sad. She made a mistake in her life, and she really wants to get back the people she loves. And that's what happens. True. But I'm sure you've done things you're not proud of. Yeah. Care to elaborate? You know, lying to Jackie, hurting Jackie, being mean to Zoe when she didn't deserve it. You think you're a bad person? No. Do you think they think you're a bad person? Zoe, probably. Jackie, maybe, I don't know. It's hard to tell. You know, she still seems a little distant. <laughs> Can you blame her? I mean, there's some pretty tough things you put her through. Well, what about me? I went through a lot. Yeah, you did. But, you know, there comes a point, you know, when, forgive the phrase, but you have to stop playing the victim. We control our lives. We have to take responsibility for our actions. Stop blaming others. We need to fix things ourselves. Sounds so simple when you put it like that. Yeah, well, the talking about it is the easy part. Making changes, that's the hard part. It's funny, that's exactly what Jackie said she was doing by running for class president. Making changes. But the thing is, she didn't just talk about it. She did something. Dino. What are you doing here? Is everything okay? Yeah, everything's fine. Did you have a fight with your father? No, no, he, he's great. I was just thinking... I was just thinking maybe it's time for me to move back home. If it's okay with you. Of course it's okay.